Hey everyone, welcome back to the Coding Game channel. Today I'm with Loic again for a quick interview question. This time in C++, so this should bring back memories from uh, the old times. Even more rusty. <laughs> <laughs> Today I have a question for you about words and text processing. Do you know what an anagram is? I do, yes. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like a word that is similar to another word in a sense where like all the letters are the same and also like the number of each occurrence of each letter is the same, but in different order. Catering, reacting, and there's a third one, creating. Those three words are all anagrams of each other. And well, I want you to write a program to find those uh, words and group them together. So this is part of a series of interview questions that I post on social media as well. Uh, I'll leave the link below. So, well, you are doing uh, the one that I made a few weeks ago. So I've written a bit of boilerplate code that loads the words, puts them into a C++ vector. And what I want you to do is to write uh, this function that I've called find anagrams right here. So the return value, you can see it's a vector of vector of string. Uh, what I want in this uh, return structure is, well, all the words that are anagrams of each other, I want them grouped into a single list, so a single vector, and I want the list of all those groups. So I guess the function takes um, the list of like all the available words. Mm -hmm. So this is passed already. Okay, that's the list, right? Yes. Do you have any other questions before we start? Maybe just the like order of the mm. list I have to return. Does that matter? Or? No, it, it doesn't matter. You can return the words in within a group can be returned in any order and the groups can be ordered okay. the way you want as well. Before we start coding, maybe you can talk me through what you would do to solve this. Like the first thing I can think of is like the naive implementation that will be to go through the list of all the words and for each word, go through the list again to check if one word, is, one word is an anagram. So if like every letter is the same uh, and same number of uh, occurrences, mm -hmm. but this will be slow if the number of words is uh, huge. We have nearly 300,000 words. I took the English Scrabble dictionary, so yeah, a lot of words in there. Okay, so like the second implementation, because basically from my understanding, each word could be only on one bucket, because like every bucket will contain all the anagram of this word, so it cannot be in two different bucket of anagrams. Yes. So we can like go through the list only one time, and for each word, try to find the right bucket to put in. But to do that, we will need to be able for each word to have a way to really easily find this uh, bucket of anagrams so some kind of like hash map of di dictionary with a key mm -hmm. and the list of anagrams and this key like need to be unique per anagram yeah so that sounds very good every word that actually are anagram of the of each other should generate the same key so when i go through the list i would just generate this key and add this word to this bucket. And the first implementation I think of is just like ordering the letter of the word. So if I take any anagrams and I just like sort the letters inside the word, then it will generate the same key for any anagrams because I would have like the letters, uh, same number of letters and in the same order. Yes, so that's, maybe... that's a very good trick. I, I wasn't sure you would get this on the, on the first try without any help. But yeah, sorting uh, to two words if they are anagrams of each other they will have the same sorted value so i guess in c++ i will have a map string vector of string where i will store like the key and the list of uh, words I, I have found for this this key i will go through the list and the one thing i do not know exactly how to do is like how to sort a word but i guess we could use like std algorithm maybe to sort it i will have to like look uh, the documentation to make sure so yeah let's let's, let's go ahead yeah. let's do it at the end i will have also to transform my map to like a vector of vector if you want me to return that one. So let's iterate through the word list. So using like auto syntax to create the, it the iterator. Um, something like that. Okay. Um, so this it will contain each word. So then I have to sort this word mm -hmm. uh, to get the key. So I uh, will just key equal it dot so sort so i will have to google it because i don't remember but i guess algorithm sort 
C++, I will find something. You can see the link is still purple because I <laughs> <laughs> went on this exact link yesterday. Um, so let's see. Okay, it takes like first and last of the string. I'm just looking at like the, if the function is like updating the string in place or like returning another one. Yeah, it's editing in place. It's editing in place. So I have to, okay, I already did it. So, so just like sort key dot begin key dot end and that will be okay so key should be sorted now mm -hmm. um, so I will just like update this to be a map of string vector if we if you're also like very cautious about performances we could look about like map uh, documentation to see like how fa mm -hmm. fast this is to get a specific key we may do that later if you okay. if you want a little challenge <laughs> okay great um, so just like fetching the item at my key value uh, and push back my word. Can you tell me what's gonna happen if you are trying to access, well, results at index key when key doesn't exist yet? If I remember correctly, but if I'm wrong, we could be in trouble. Uh, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> this should like call the default constructor of a vector. Yes. So we should be fine. So it will like generate an empty vector and then pushing back to it. Exactly. And if it's already exists, then it will just like push back to the list. Mm -hmm. So here we now need to just like transform this map into a vector to match like the return type of the function. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is like a better option, but I think I will just like go through the, the map, create a vector um, and like push back to this vector while I'm like going through the map. Mm -hmm. so I'm just like creating another vector here. This time like a vector of vector as expected. I'm just renaming it to groups um, here and here. And this is result, um, so I will just like, go through. Uh, and for each one, I would just push to the result. And this is it second. Okay, that's a function. It's not. Uh, and we should be okay. I think you will encounter a small bug, but I'm that's overconfident. That's something I forgot to tell you. Maybe yes. So what I didn't tell I have you too many anagram groups. Yes, because I wanted you to return only the groups of where there's at least two oh, anagrams. True. Okay, okay, makes sense. So that's just a little if here. So if the group size is greater than one. And on if I'm just pushing this. And this should do the trick. Very good. Here we go. So you get it in just under two seconds. Still slow. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, for uh, 300,000 words, it's uh, still pretty good. But um, yeah, can you find ways to make this code run faster, make this 1929 uh, milliseconds uh, a bit smaller? I think the first thing I would check is map, mm -hmm. uh, because like a lot rely on how map is, f how map is fast to like get uh, a key. So I would like check the map documentation to see. Yeah, so it tells you it's implemented as a binary search tree right here. Can okay. you tell me the complexity of a VST? Good question. Um, I guess that like login. Yeah, everything that's tree in the name yeah. is the login for almost any <laughs> I mean, operation. Like you split it by half at every time. So I think we could do better. I was actually expecting like constant speed to get um, so I guess I would love to also like search if like C++ has some constant complexity map okay so for another map search and session and removal of elements are have average constant time so that's what we want yeah so this should improve a little bit Ooh. Better. Yeah, so you cut off like 600 milliseconds. There's one more tip that you can use. You've come pretty far. Uh, there's a few more things you can add, but one that would add a lot of performance related to, well, the compilation actually, because uh, programs on CoderPad are, well, they don't have any performance flags. Do you know any tips? Uh, any tips on the compiler to make it faster? Yeah, but, well, usually what you would do to compile with better performance would be to pass a flag 
Yeah. But you ha actually have ways to do that through the source code. I don't know the trick. I know like, is that like the minus uh, dash O yeah. option on, on... O3, yeah. You can do it? You can code. do it from okay. the source. Uh, on coding game, actually, there's a lot of players doing that because, well, performance really matters when you have limited time. I don't remember the exact syntax, but uh, you can search like Pragma03. It will be my history, yeah. <laughs> and that's actually something you can put at the top of your source code. That will actually have the O3 flag in the compiler. Ooh. Okay, that's a lot better. Yeah. <laughs> 824. I don't know what I did differently, but mine ran a bit faster. I, I got, I think, the exact same code. Maybe you can just try to run it again. Maybe we just got unlucky. There's a blog article on coding game on Tech.io where someone explains all the pragma you have to put at the top of your code and it makes it so much faster <laughs> because you're using all the uh, CPU optimizations. All right, well, Loic, you got it under one second uh, in execution time and you got it uh, quite fast. So I'm super happy with uh, what you did. And um... so I have an idea uh, that could maybe make me make it better because like we are iterating through the map. Mm -hmm. which is like all the groups, still pretty big. I think we can avoid this part if we are like building the vector and at the same time we are building the map. The idea is the map to contain an int here that would basically be the index in the vector. And instead of... Ooh, I like that. <laughs> instead of just pushing it to the list, I will like get the value from the map. If this is not already on the map, I will like create a new index and push to the vector directly mm -hmm. and just like remove that part and just return the vector. Let's try it. <laughs> Maybe it will not work. We'll see. It's the same complexity. We'll, it will depend on how good the compiler is at that point. Yes, yes. Um, I think it could improve a little bit. So we were around like 800 milliseconds. Mm -hmm. I think we could maybe do like 700, something like that. Cool. Not that big of an improvement, but still. So like, I have to like not check if the key is inside the inside the, the map already. So it's like if okay. contains my key, then maybe I will do the opposite. Like if the map do not already contain the key, mm -hmm. then I will like create this key and I will initiate it to the size of the vector. So it will be zero mm -hmm. the first time, then one and then so on. And now I just have to push back to the right one. So actually I also have to initiate it here. So I have like to push an empty vector here. So a new vector of string. Um, and then I just have to push to the right one. So I'm just using the groups key here. So it, if it was already existing, it would just like take the right one and push. And I think we are good. No, because I I think in that case you will also have the groups of size 1. Yeah, that's true. So we still have to iterate through the list. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have this problem of the... Um, yeah, too many groups because you're returning the groups of size yes. 1. So we can create like another map to store the first word we encounter. So the first time I encounter the word, so now it's not groups anymore. I want to check in first one. So I, if I don't find the key in first ones, it means like this is the first time I encounter this word. So I yeah. want to just... The first time you encounter this group of anagrams. Yeah, this group yeah. of anagrams, exactly. So I want to store the first word in that, like this. And I don't want to push back anymore to the result, not yet. So the second condition will be basically the same, but for the second time. So else, if I do not find the word, the key, sorry, in groups, it means it, it, it is like the second time, mm -hmm. technically. So here I can do what I, I was doing before, meaning pushing back my vector and storing, I've lost it, um, to groups, the index. So this is like groups um, key equals result dot size. Here we go. Um, and at that time, I know I, I will have at least two words. Mm -hmm. Um, so I can even like create the vector with the first word in it. Yeah. So here I'm just like initializing my vector with this. And I, I, I still need to push back every word I find. So I will just like add a condition to make sure this is not the first one. So here I will also push current word. Mm -hmm. um, and else, so this means this is not the first word, not the second one. I would just like push it to what I already have. And this should work. I don't know if it will be faster. So here in that last condition you are, so with groups of key you are getting the index where the key is stored in the vector. Yeah. 
And then you push back the rod. Okay. This should work. Ooh, so very that's nice. A little bit better. Actually, yeah. close to my expectation. Yeah, you gained. Uh... Running it again to check. Yeah. Nice. It seems we are a little bit better. Well, uh, congrats, Luik. You went even further than I expected. You did even better than my code. So, well, congrats to you. Thank you for coming and uh, accepting this impromptu interview. And, well, I'll see you next time. See you.